going to go through what self-hypnosis is, how it works, and the benefits of using self-hypnosis during labor. So does hypnobirthing hypnotize you during labor and birthing? Well, the answer is no. And this is because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. In hypnobirthing, you're going to learn to use relaxation techniques, affirmations, and self-hypnosis tracks to reprogram your mind and teach yourself to relax so that your body can release beneficial endorphins, otherwise known as nature's relaxant during your labor. This natural form of pain relief will help you minimize and in some cases, eliminate labor pain. You are not going to miss your baby's birth due to being in a state of self-hypnosis. In fact, you will be very aware and present throughout your labor and you will probably be able to remember and recall events in even more detail than most mothers. This is because hypnosis is a heightened state of awareness. You'll be able as well to snap in and out of this deeply relaxed state. At any time, you'll be able to stop, break out of that state and speak if you need to. However, if your birth companion is able to speak and advocate on your behalf, that is preferred as it allows you to remain in that deeply relaxed state, focused and undisturbed. Think of self-hypnosis this way. When you drive your car from work to home and you arrive at your destination, you can't remember the entire journey there because at times you're in a state of hypnosis. Even though you are driving a moving vehicle, negotiating traffic, braking, accelerating, and giving way to traffic and pedestrians, you didn't have to consciously think about it. This is because driving home has become more of a subconscious act because you've done it so many times that you don't need to think about doing it. But at any point in time while you are driving, you can snap out of your hypnotic relaxed state if a car, for example, suddenly stops in front of you or you need to stop at a pedestrian crossing. But remember when you were learning to drive and the intense concentration that was required. It probably took a lot of repetition and practice before you could drive without having to pay a lot of conscious attention to what you were doing. It's going to be the same with hypnobirthing. So I want you to start out by learning all the hypnobirthing tools and techniques that you will use during your labor and birthing. And then as you practice and reinforce these techniques during your pregnancy, they will become automatic as you use the power of your subconscious mind. You'll then be able to put yourself into a deeply relaxed self-hypnotic state at any time, include, including during your labor. We'll go into these hypnobirthing techniques over the next few videos, but they include breathing techniques, affirmations, guided visualizations, relaxation techniques, facial relaxation, massage, and creating a beautiful birthing room atmosphere or a birthing nest to have your baby in.